today I'm going to read Josephine Baker by Isabella Sanchez Vergara. This is an incredible story of a girl from St. Louis named Josephine. Some would say she was born with nothing, but she had two legs made for dancing, a dazzling smile, and a free spirit, and she was going to use them. When Josephine was a little girl, white people seemed to live in another world. They made all the rules, and these rules were very different if your skin color was black. But Josephine danced her way out of St. Louis and became a street artist, then a theater performer. When Josephine moved, her legs were elastic, fantastic. Josephine traveled to New York and became the last dancer on the end of the chorus line. But somehow everybody noticed her. Her movements were silly and stylish at the same time. Josephine knew that she had gone as far as a black woman could go in America at that time. So when she was offered a job in a new show in Paris, she jumped at the chance and sailed to Europe. Here, black and white people lived alongside each other. For the first time in her life, Josephine felt free. Josephine became a star overnight. The shimmy, the mouge, the mess around, the Charleston. All her movements were exciting. People had never seen anything like it before. First Paris, and then all of Europe. Her fame grew and so did her pet collection. She shared her life with cats, dogs, fish, birds, a pig, a goat, and even a baby cheetah. Her heart was big and full of love to give. Josephine began singing and filming movies. She was the first black woman to ever star in a film. Her dazzling personality made her a total superstar. But then World War II began and half of Europe was invaded. Josephine knew she had to do something. She became a spy and smuggled secret reports in her music sheets. She was a heroine of the French resistance. When the war ended, Josephine adopted 12 children from the four corners of the globe. She believed people of all colors could live together in harmony and wanted to prove it to everyone. But times were changing in America and Josephine returned home. She traveled to Washington and marched for civil rights along with thousands of other people. A man named Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. marched with her. And when she celebrated her 50 year career on stage, the world gave her a standing ovation. It was a long way from St. Louis for little Josephine, but she made it in her own spectacular way. Josephine Baker, born 1906, died 1975. Josephine Baker was born Frida Josephine McDonald in St. Louis, Missouri. Josephine's early years were difficult. She was brought up in poverty in a segregated city. This meant there were separate rules for white and black people. These rules affected everything from houses, medical care, and education, to opportunities, jobs, and access to services. Josephine made it despite the roadblocks put in front of her. She honed her craft watching vaudeville shows and danced herself out of the St. Louis slums. Her act was acrobatic, improvised, and funny all at once. Her unique talent took her to shows in Boston, New York, and Paris. And at the age of 19, Josephine became an overnight sensation in her first Parisian show. Over the following years, she continued to amaze audiences on stage, famously wearing a banana skirt. She became the first black woman to star in a major film, going on to make four in total. Then during World War II, Josephine worked as a spy, carrying information that helped the French resistance against the Nazis. Josephine never stopped fighting for equal rights. She refused to perform in segregated theaters. 
She spoke at the March on Washington, and she adopted 12 children from around the world, calling them her rainbow tribe. Her hope for the future was that people would learn to live in peace and without prejudice. She remained one of the biggest and brightest stars in entertainment for the rest of her life.